Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier this morning, Ubiquity released Unify Protect Application 2.2.2. This released a bunch of bug fixes as well as some improvements. So in this video, we're gonna go over those improvements. I'm gonna read some of the bug fixes, but mostly we'll be working in my UNVR to see the changes. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting or Unify Protect Consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. And you can find all my social media accounts at beacons.ai slash mactelecomnetwork. The first major improvement in this update is the ability to export our videos in a time lapse. So if we go over to my UNVR and then we click on playback, I'm going to select my G4 Doorbell Pro. And from here, we could download a clip. Now under download clip, we could see time-lapse. If we check that off, we could either do it at 60 times, 120, 300, or 600. I'm going to leave it at 60. We'll select a clip and then we'll press download. Now let's take a look at the clip that we downloaded. We could see that the time-lapse is working, but the quality isn't that great. If we do this on my G4 bullet, it isn't really good at all. So let's take a look. I'll click on my backyard G4 bullet and then we'll go to download and then we'll do the time lapse at 60 again and then we'll drag and drop for a clip and we'll download the footage. Now looking at this footage, it's very pixelated and I don't really like that. If I do it on my phone, the time lapse, it looks perfect. So I'm not sure if this is a desktop issue. Let me know down below if you're having the same issue with the time lapse. Now let's check out the time lapse from my phone. Now we're in Unify Protect on my phone. We can see in the bottom right corner that we have these three dots. This is where we're going to export the clip and do that time lapse. So I'll click on that. We're going to export the clip. And then on the left, we're going to select this time lapse. I'm going to do it at 120 times speed. And then I'm going to select my clip. And then we're going to press this download we can see that it's going to be about 30 megabytes. Now let's look at this clip from my phone and we can see that the clouds are going by and we can see the cars that are moving through it. It actually looks pretty good from my phone, just not my desktop at this point. Hopefully that is fixed in the future because this is a great update. And the next thing up is the option to turn off the insights, which is our motion analytics. And this will reduce the system load if we have larger deployments. And I'll show you where that's located. We go to our UNVRs. Click on our settings wheel and then scroll down. We could see under advanced that we have this insights right here and we could check it on or off. And this will display a heat map of your camera's detections. Please note that this feature is resource intensive. So if you're having issues with your camera's buffering, you may want to turn that off. And the last thing we'll take a look at in the UNVR before I read some of the improvements and bug fixes is the Wi-Fi information that's been added. So if we click on my G4 instant, and we look on the side, we could see the normal stuff like the camera status, the model firmware, the connection. I'm not too sure if that was there before. We could see I have a 97% connection. We could see the last motion MAC address in the IP. But if we keep scrolling down, we can now see the SSID that it's connected to, the BSSID, the channel, and the TX rate. Now I'm just going to read a couple of the improvements and bug fixes. It improves streaming performance when auto quality is used. And we have some more things for the stacking. So we could show stack consoles on the LCM if the consoles are stacked. I haven't done a video on stacking yet as it's only available on the UNVR Pro and I only have one UNVR Pro, not two. When I do get a second one, we will do a video on that. And for streaming, it improves the stream startup time. We have an audio fix where the G4 Doorbell Pro was getting muted. It fixes a rare application crashes, fix UPSense notification value rounding, it fixes rare application crashing, smart detect, fix thumbnail artifact, G4 PTZ reduce the sensitivity for the pan tilt control, and then we have other stability fixes and improvements. Now this update did have quite a few bug fixes and improvements. I'm really hoping that the quality improves over the time lapse video from my desktop. Let me know what you think about this update in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.